Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your smoothie or protein shake. and welcome to Hyped by Allison. I hope you all are having a great Labor Day weekend. I know I am. I actually just got back from Arizona, had a fun little trip with the fam. I am excited to say that I received a package and I think I know what it is, but I want you to join me in unboxing it. Before we unbox, don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also, give me a big thumbs up and follow my Instagram. All right, I'm gonna grab some scissors and we're gonna open this up. Yeah! It is what I thought it was, the Grecho Portable Blender. I also want to thank Grecho for sponsoring this video. I am excited to try this out. I'm gonna open it up. I hear that you need to charge it with a USB, which is amazing. So we'll open it up and see what we need to do to show all of you how it actually works. Got some directions here, packaged very nicely. We've got our charger, pretty fancy. We got a little blade here. All right, let's look at these directions first. Okay, it suggests to fully charge before using two to three hours, and most importantly, do not use it more than five times in a row. Excessive load of electronic components can cause heat and affect the product life, so we want to keep this working. I am going to charge this up, and then we can go ahead and try it out, review it a little bit more. We're going to grab our charger USB cable, which is nice because if you're on the go, you can charge it in your car. If it's not charged before work and you want to bring it to work and store or those frozen ingredients or whatever you need for the blender at work in your break room or whatever looks like it is right here and all you do is lift this up and I'm gonna plug this in I'll be back to show you how it works so real quick while it's charging, just wanna let you know that we're gonna make some fun things with this blender today. We're gonna try out just like a basic protein shake, maybe add a little ice, maybe a frozen banana, and then we're gonna try out a fruit smoothie because I wanna see how much blend this little portable blending cup has in it. Okie doke, well, this is all charged up and I am super excited to try it out. They call it a one-handed drinking mini blender for shakes and smoothies. It's 12 ounces, which would be considered like a personal blender with a rechargeable USB. You can plug it into your car, into the wall, super convenient. It is also made with BPA-free material and it is a portable juicer. I'm super excited to try it out, so let's get going. First, we're gonna start out with making a nice protein shake. So I am gonna go grab my ingredients. We're going to put them all in and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I have all of my ingredients. I got my almond milk, my frozen bananas, and my peanut butter cup SinFit protein powder. We're gonna go ahead and plop those in. Remember, personal size amount. We will estimate and remember, you can always add more almond milk or whatever your fluid base is if it's not blending well. I'm gonna start out conservative with just a little bit of banana, and then we're gonna go with about one scoop of protein powder. All right, that was simple. We're gonna pop this lid on. Remember, you can drink out of this when it's done because it has your little lid. You can stick a straw in it as well. We're gonna flip it over before we start the blender. As you can see where the USB port is, there's also a power button. We want to double click that and that's when it will blend. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your smoothie or protein shake. Okay, so to stop the blending, instead of double clicking it, you just single click it. I stopped it in the middle just to give it a little shake, shake, shake and turn it on again because sometimes the bananas get stuck or the frozen fruit or whatever you're blending. So now we can flip it over. We're gonna open up this lid. I mean, you can use a straw. I'm just gonna drink it straight from here. Tastes delicious. If I wanted to make it thicker, I could add some ice. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of ice. I wanna look at how thick it is and how blended it is. So it's a little bit of a thinner shake. So I'm gonna add some ice, see if we can thicken it up and see how well it blends. 
lid goes back on. Clean this up a bit and a flip and a double click. All right, I think it's done. I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake my smoothie. All right. Perfection. Remember, shaking is pretty important because you want to make sure that everything's distributed evenly and I feel like that really helped. So you gotta shake, shake, shake. I am going to put this into another cup, give this a quick wash, give AJ the protein shake so I can move on and show you how to make a smoothie. I'm gonna open it up and look at the thickness. Much thicker. Mm, peanut butter cup banana smoothie slash protein shake. Okay, I washed it off. I'm just gonna dry it before I move on. I noticed I had to make sure that I put the lid on nice and tight because that was another reason it could leak out. Let's move on and make a fruit smoothie. So I went to Trader Joe's and I grabbed some mixed berries. I then I got my frozen banana. Frozen bananas. So we're gonna put that all together and see how it tolerates tons of frozen fruit. So let's go. So you can use your own recipes. You can make up whatever you want, but today it's just gonna be very basic. If I had orange juice, I might use that instead, but we're gonna stick with the almond milk. And we've got our berry medley from Trader Joe's, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries, and we've got our frozen banana. And the nice thing about this that I like is it has milliliters of fluid. We'll start out with that, and that is about 250 milliliters. I'm gonna go all out and I'm gonna do extra banana. About one and a half bananas. And we're gonna do, make sure we get a little bit of all the berries. So we got some strawberries, two strawberries, a handful of blackberries and blueberries. Delicious raspberries. I'm gonna shake it up first. Shake it while it's blending. Such a great feature. So we're gonna pop it open and give it a try. Delish. Nutrish. And I can bring this with me wherever I want. Let's talk about this personal portable smoothie blender. So first of all, aside from this orange color, there are many other colors, including white and blue. I like this because it's closer to red. Washing it's very simple. It's basically blending soapy water. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some water. And then I'm gonna put a little soap in it, some dish soap. I'm gonna put the lid on and blend. Rinse it out one more time. nice and clean, ready to go. Okay, just to finish off, we're gonna talk about a couple more little facts that are amazing about this product. It's super safe, has a nice power off protection, overload protection, and in addition, it is made with food grade, non-toxic, and eco-friendly Triton material. And like I said, totally BPA free. It is super portable, like I said, you can blend anywhere you want, you can bring it to work, you can bring it in your car. And along with making smoothies, it does so many other things like grating cheese, mincing garlic, and this high-speed mixer can even be charged from a laptop. Super easy to use. All you have to do is charge the USB cord, plug it in, put your ingredients in, double click to start, single click to stop. It comes with the 12 ounce portable blender, the USB cord, quick start guide, user manual, and a worry-free lifetime warranty. Prompt with customer friendly service. I really, really enjoyed this Grecho blender and I love how I could shake, 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 dance a little bit while I'm making my smoothie shake or whatever I'm using it for. If you want to try it, go to the link in my description, click on it, grab yourself a portable Grecho blender. You will not be disappointed. I am just surprised that someone came up with something that's beyond convenience, especially for us health nuts and fitness fanatics. It's hard enough to get your protein shakes in and eat healthy, so this just makes life so much easier, especially on the go. I hope you enjoyed learning about this Screecho Blender. Don't forget that if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more fun content like this. Please give me a big thumbs up along with this Screecho Portable Blender. It needs that thumbs up because it's amazing. And follow my Instagram. And don't forget to shake, 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 shake your smoothie and stay hyped.